what, where's he at in terms of uh, kind of working his way back? Uh, you have to ask him. I mean, he practiced a little bit today. I mean, he's still probably a few weeks away. What are you doing with him in terms well, of? Well, just kind of getting him back and going a little bit. You know, he worked with second group and did some scale stuff. Uh, Kyle Fuller was a little bit under the weather today. Um, but just trying to, you know, get him, get him back playing a little bit. And he hasn't been fully released yet. So you just, we got to be, you know, uh, cautious with, you know, what we do and how he does things. But he's still got to get back. I mean, he's about 85, 90% probably, I'd say, close to it. And, uh, but he's got to get back and playing with a bend in his knees and coming out of transitions and all those things, you know, we just got to get back in the football flow a little bit. How unique of a challenge is this ECU playing? This is a this is a tremendous challenge, and you know, and we've played them, you know, over the years. And last time we went down there, it's the same offense. We played extremely well defensively. I think you know, but, you know we we just played a great football game that day. Um, you know, but I think where the difference is, I think skill set wise, they're very they're similar to what they were. You know, a lot of the same kids in a lot of ways. They lost 17. I can't remember who he was, but he's playing with. Um, Play with the Cowboys now, but number two, and who's our leading receiver? Um, you know, he's the same guy. But I think what makes them go is their quarterback right now. I think he's the difference. You know, he's. Um, I don't know if I've seen a more accurate guy. To be honest with you, um, right now he's complete and close to 80 percent of his passes. That's hard to do in Pascal, man. You know, and um, I'm just impressed where he puts the football. He puts it on the money. He's got a. He he doesn't run, but he he can. He's, he's athletic enough to create plays when things aren't there and, and buy time for receivers to get open. They just they, they jive well together. I mean, they just got a great chemistry, I think, as, a, as, as a, their receivers and the quarterback. They, they really, really do. And uh, catch the ball extremely well, but he puts the ball in the money, too. You know, I just, that's, but it is a, you know, I challenged our kids today, I mean, from the standpoint, well, all week, but, you know, it'd be a, it'd make a statement for us as a perimeter if we can go down there and, and play like we did the last time we went down there, you know, because I think these guys are, they're a talented football team. They're, they're um, another year more experienced than what we played them with this offense, you know, and this coordinator, he's been there the whole time now since uh, Ruffin's been there. So you just see the offense gelling and just kind of clicking rather where maybe there might've been some glitches maybe before. I know you always say stop the run first. Does that still apply to a team? Well, yeah, it does. I mean, you still, you can't allow them to have success from the football, you know, and I, I'll say this, they looked to there, you know, when we played them last, they were just strictly all one back stuff. Now they're a lot, they're, they're actually a little more two back. Now they do it out of with their tight end. They may put him back there. Uh, they'll get into some diamond stuff occasionally. Um, but, and then, but that run sets up the pass off of it too. Um, but, uh, you know, still, you just can't allow a team like this to have any success around the football and make it a one-dimensional. Because I think the last time we played them, I think we held them to negative yards rushing, if I'm not mistaken, in that game. And um, because of they couldn't get the run game started, and then we had some, you know, a few sacks in the game. Uh, but still, they just couldn't establish the run game. And that's and I think their backs are good enough. You know, but that, that's just part of it. I mean, they, they're, they're limited in their run play selection, but at the same time, we can't allow them any opportunity to have success running the football. They haven't had a single completion over 23 yards this season, um, which I guess they do. They, they like to screen a lot. A lot screen a lot, a lot. Does that almost place a premium on making sure that you, you stay aware they don't get anybody past you, slip somebody past you? Yeah, well, I mean, they, they'll still take their shots occasionally. They yeah. just, you know, haven't hit on them but, uh, like they probably like. But, yeah, you don't, you're not seeing as many balls down the field. That's one thing that we noticed. Uh, but... Um, you know, yeah, the screens, we got to do a great job with that because, you know, depending on what, if we're in mans or if we're any kind of quarters concept, or if we're in zone, we got to do a good job with our angles, you know, back to the, and, and recognize them. And a lot of times screens are defeated just not by your perimeter guys. Your, your linemen need to do a good job feeling it, and our guys have done a nice job with that here recently over the years. But those type of plays, um, you know, a little, what we, a lot of little flat routes and under routes or pop passes off a of play fake and things of that nature. They heard ODU with that, you know, quite a bit. That, you know, um, just they really just do a nice job. They've always got a counter for something too. You, know, you run quick screen, they're gonna run a quick screen and go. You know, you run a you run a smash route, they're gonna run a smash with a, a jet or what we call a jet or, or smash and go. 
You know, they're, with the, they're going to run a divide at some point in time, meaning they're going to run the fullback or somebody down the middle, tailback down the middle of the field. They tried that on us two years down there, and luckily the kid dropped it. Sometimes we got lucky. A guy ran by Bruce Taylor. Yeah. Um, but, you know, those are the things that, you know, they, they do. They always have a wrinkle off of everything they do, and I think that's where they've just elevated. But this quarterback, man, I tell you, I just, I've just really been impressed with him and his playmaking abilities and his escape ability. And he doesn't escape the run. He escapes and buys time for guys to get open and just puts the ball in the money. Make, doesn't, I haven't seen him make very many poor decisions. That's probably where he's, he's really good. Charlie talks about making the quarterback hold the ball longer than he wants to because they like the short passing game so much. Uh, how do you do that? Well, it's more of a coverage that way. You know, you've got to do that. You know, we've got to snug them up, and we're going to mix up our coverages, you know. Um, but um, that's the one thing. You know, if you can make him hold a lot of the, their offensive line, their protection is not very complicated. I mean, they're like punt protection, you know. They're just big bodies, and they retreat and, and – uh, um, but they, I mean, they do six man protect primarily, but, um, you know, you've got to, you've got to make the quarterback hold it. And if you can do that, I like hopefully our athleticism up front. That's kind of where it's been some, you know, where we've had some strength, you know, some success against them in the past. So, you know, we just got to make the quarterback hold it and, you know, make him make great throws with people all over. Yeah, but, you know, he's been making those throws right now too. You've done it well this year, but how important is, is first tackling and shorthanded tackling against them? Yeah, that's that's critical because yards after the catch is big. And, you know, that's part of this offense, you know, and creating space, you know, putting the ball in athletes in space is kind of like basketball on grass, you know, right now. I mean, it really is. I mean, you've got to, but you've got to be close to your people to be able to make plays, and we've got to run to the football. We can't assume anything. I mean, they're going to make, they might make a guy make, you know, miss a play in space, but if we can turn him back into our helper or help's coming, you know, hard, then uh, we just can't assume anything that the ball's, you know, been, you know, the ball carrier's been tackled unless you know, the whistle blows, you know. So we just got to really play hard and have great effort and, and uh, run the football. But that's, that's going to be, you know, critical, obviously, especially out on the edges, you know, with those, with, uh, you know, the receivers out in, in space and on the edges, especially where you're, you're away from all your, your help. You've talked about your success against pro-style offenses in the past. Is having success against these spread teams kind of the mark of, of whether this defense could? Well, I think, you know, it's you, we see so many, um, you know, and I don't know where you, what, you know, what the success is winning, you know, when it's all said and done. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, but I think, It'll make a statement where we are as a complete football team, you know, I mean, with all offenses, you know, I'd like to think that. Now, obviously, this spread offense is different than Clemson's spread offense, you know, it's, it's, uh, or this spread offense is different than the one we faced last week because there's a lot more quarterback runs and things of that nature. So, you know, it's just another, um, you know, component or another offensive component that we've got to you prepare for that's different. And, you know, hopefully we've... Uh, you know, our, our experience now, hopefully, with our first group, you know, we're we're more aware of things and that type of thing. So, can Corey give you anything in this game? You think Corey Marshall? Yeah. Um, yeah, if he's dressing, I guess. You know, uh, we'll see where he is. You know, I don't know what coach's policy is with him right now. Uh, it's good to see him back out there, though. Um, you know, we'll see. But if he plays, I think he can give us. You know, he can add an element for us. You know, I think he's got fresh legs and. Uh, um, you know, but again, he's been away from it for a few weeks, so sometimes your timing and some of those things will be off. But yeah, if we can get him back, we'll see. You know, but he, he's there's no doubt he can help us. But uh, you know, I, I, just, I just don't know the complete situation with, with him and coach what they've got going on. But when do you guys set the, the travel? So when do you know who? You know, it'll probably be finalized tomorrow. We'll know a little bit more. You got a couple of guys on the edge, you know, injury wise. And we'll know more about that probably tomorrow. So.